because we've seen vision, we've seen commitment, we've seen patriotism, and we saw results. Even at the time, we didn't have resources. We know what happened during the transition, where a program was reduced to two years, you remember, from four to two and so on. And yet, within those two years, we saw delivery, and Gambian said, look, take off the uniform and lead us. Because what Gambians want is results. And the Gambians saw those results. So no more doubting Thomases. Everybody agreed that, hey, this is the right path. So, Your Excellency, we want to take this opportunity to thank you for leading us this far and for leading us to the right path. And today, the Gambia is a country to be reckoned with. So when I used to travel, wherever I go to, they say, are you from Zambia? I said, no, no, it's the Gambia. You know, you keep on explaining. But I don't think any of my colleagues today would have much explanation to do. Wherever we go, they, first of all, they ask, where is President Jami? That's the first name they ask. <laughs> then the next thing they tell me is about the development in the Gambia. They are so impressed. They say, oh, yeah, I used to come to the Gambia 20 years ago, or 15 years ago, or 13 years ago. But what I saw now is different from what I saw then. They said it, and they mean it. You can see it. So they think we are on the right path. They think we have progress, and I hope Gambians also think they are progressing and that, they, that this country is on the right path. Because they, are, they show it by the, the followership of the president. You can see when he goes on tour, wherever he goes out, people are always, because they appreciate him. So let's continue along those lines. We, the Gambia, we are one family. But when I say we, the Gambia, I mean include you. You are now Gambian. We don't exclude you. Once you work for us, you are with us, we see you as part of the bigger family the African family. That's how the president is, a pan-Africanist. So let's work together. Let's stand behind our leader. Let's have one common vision. And inshallah, we will be there, God willing. And also have faith in God, the Almighty. Today we all saw to either the Bible or the Holy Quran. That's why we saw that God should protect us. We sought for divine guidance. And God would provide that once we are doing the right thing. Like my colleague has said, the president always says, fear nobody once you do the right thing. But once you do the wrong thing, of course, there are measures. Because for all of us, God also has heaven. He has hell for us. And right here on earth, we sometimes go through that process. So that is life. So once again, Bumodo, I want to congratulate you. Just be rest assured that being young doesn't mean you can't deliver. In fact, you have more opportunity to deliver because some of us are set in a certain way. Like I'm of the older generation, maybe it's difficult to change my mindset, but it might be easier to change yours. So you might be able to move the country from where we, we left off. And that is the way it happens from one generation to the other. Just be rest assured of our support. Our doors are open at all times. It's excellent for sure. These doors are open. Just this over, I want to tell you the same thing. I'm sorry, you walked there before. I don't have to belabor the point. His doors would be open at all times. Once again, I thank all of you and congratulate you and thank His Excellency the President for the appointment. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Thank you very much and may God bless you. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. Your Excellency, the Vice President, Honorable Chief Justice, Secretary General and Head of the Civil Service and Minister for Presidential Affairs, Honorable Ministers, Solicitor General, Secretary of Cabinet, Legal Secretary, Deputy Secretary of Cabinet, all other protocols respectfully observed. I thank the Almighty Allah for this day and for many other days in the past and other days expected in the future for the development of this country that we believe could be a beacon of hope and a signing example for the rest of Africa to follow. We are the smallest country in Africa, 
and maybe above the smallest countries in the world. But today, Gambia is well known, thanks to not Yajame, but the Almighty Allah who created everything. Big things come from small things. I want to thank the two gentlemen. Well, I'm proud that uh, today we are swearing in a person whose high educational pursuit was facilitated by the advent of the July 22nd revolution. <laughs> I'm also proud that today justice is done. <laughs> I may be a layman in the law, but I pay attention to the judiciary on a daily basis, because I want to make sure that justice is done. Once justice is done, I can implement whatever the laws of the Gambia say, have my lunch, and go and have a nice sleep. So it is very important that there is a legal system that is promulgated by Gambians for the interests of the Gambian people that determine how you and I would live in this country, how there will be order and respect, peace and stability in this country. That is what all the laws of the Gambia are about. The laws that are passed in any country are meant to regulate and ensure that every individual in the society has a space to live in, go about his or her businesses without let or hindrance from others. Nobody is above the law. Justice Wobo started up as, I think, a deputy director of public prosecutions. He later became the director of public prosecutions. And then rose up to a judge, a justice of the courts. Subsequently, uh, acting CJ for a brief period. I am a Pan-Africanist first and foremost, but more importantly also I'm a humanist. We are all descendants of Adam and Eve. No matter what your color is or religion or where you come from, we are the same family. We are descendants of Adam and Eve. As far as the development of this country is concerned, what is of paramount importance to me is who will join the team to facilitate and be a catalyst to the achievements of the vision that we have set for this country. Nothing other than making the best country on earth by the will of the Almighty Allah. <laughs> Even if aliens were to come and serve my government, and I realize that the alien from space is more committed to the welfare of Gambians than Gambians. I would appoint the alien to help me deliver this country from out of poverty into affluence, prosperity, and dignity. So, with regards to Justice Wobo, the Chief Justice, what I will assure you is that uh, man proposes, God disposes. Sometimes you go to hell on earth and you'll be wondering, is there a just God? There is, and there will always be a just God, but he will also test your faith. So whatever you might have passed through, consider it as a 